Former Daily Show host John Stewart is coming to the defense of longtime friend and colleague Dave Chappelle. Stewart insisted to reporters that Chappelle was not trying to be divisive in his latest comedy special, The Closer. Take a look. He just agreed to sit down with Netflix. And, and Wise and, and all those things. Because he just agreed to sit down with Netflix and talk with their employees. Right, there. Okay. So, you know, is, is that a good thing? So they could, mm. Oh, are they talking? Yeah, yeah, sure. Gonna, yeah, man, it's, look, if this spurs a conversation where people get more on the same page in terms of understanding, sure. that'd be great. But I know his intention is never hurtful. Like, he's just not that kind of person. He's, and if it is, it, it's, it's certainly unintentional. He, he, he's really a really good man. Protesters seem to disagree, citing the comedy special as transphobic. Hmm. Rob Smith, host of the podcast, a podcast, Rob Smith is Problematic, joins me on the program now to discuss. Rob, always good to see you. Always good to see you, Buck. What's going on? What's really the play here? I mean, you know, we don't have to get into, of course, you know, the, the, tr the trans agenda, the trans community, they look for opportunities like this to uh, protest. What are they really hoping to gain out of this? I mean, do they think that Netflix is going to pull down a Dave Chappelle special. That would seem to be a bending of the knee with financial implications that would be too far even for some of the more woke corporations. So what do they want or do they want that? <clears throat> Well, I think there are a couple of things going on. First of all, there is a uh, trans activist named Ashley Marie Peterson who is looking for, you know, more social media followers, more clout, more media attention by sort of backing this protest. And this is what this person is getting, obviously. But I, I think that the fundamental intention here is for them to silence any kind of speech. You have to understand that the far left LGBT, particularly um, the transgender movement of the far left, has been very successful over the past decade of completely controlling the conversation when it comes to transgender issues, when it comes to um, how people are supposed to think or, or act about transgender issues or any of this stuff. And what you've seen over the past four to five years is sort of this stuff really kind of break down with people saying, no, um, I should be allowed to, to have these conversations. I should be allowed to ask these questions. There's this really amazing book by a writer named Abigail Schreier um, that's called Irreversible Damage that is about the transgender craze among teen girls. Um, and it really goes into depth about the implications um, that it has you know, on, on their you know, mental well-being and, and physical well-being and all that other stuff. These are real conversations that are being had that were not able to be had even five years ago because the trans community and the far left and the LGBT, LGBT had such a control over what people said. So this is about them really trying to get that control over what is said back. Um, they are fundamentally losing it. You can't police comedy. You can't thought police comedy. You can't control comedy. And not only is the Dave Chappelle comedy special funny, um, but it's also giving a voice to a lot of different people that say, wait a minute, um, I should be able to, to joke about this. I should be, should be able to speak freely about this because this is still a, a free country. And when you look at what's going on in, in terms of the protests right now, I shared a video on my Facebook page at Rob Smith Online, by the way, um, of this man that was basically um, accosted and surrounded um, by these quote unquote peaceful protesters at this rally. He had a sign that said, Dave is funny. They grabbed the sign, ripped the sign apart. And so he's left with this stick. And then they point at him and they say, oh, he's got a weapon. He's got a weapon. Um, so these people are completely insane. It, it was they amazing, by the way. The, 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 Rob, the, the switch from attacking, basically assaulting this guy. I mean, it's actually an assault to pull something out of someone's hands that's their property and destroy it in front of them. I mean, that's, that's illegal. And then once you've destroyed it, it would be like if I walked up to somebody in the street, took a beer, a beer bottle out of their hand, poured it out, smashed the bottle, handed it back to them and said, look at him, he's got a weapon. That's basically what they did. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. And the thing about it is, is that, and this is what I love about this social media era, is that it's all there. Um, it, it's all there out in the open for people to see, because you have to understand that some of these really far left, sort of like violent, crazy radicals, this is who they really are. Um, this is not about understanding. This is not about sitting down with Dave Chappelle um, and having a conversation with them. This is about bullying him into submission and controlling everything that he says, and by extension, um, the speech and words and thought of all the rest of us.